Our Bible reading today is from Luke chapter 15, reading verses 1 to 10. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering round to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the laws muttered, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbours together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who do not need to repent. Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbours together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. In the same way I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that you have given to us, and we pray that you would open our eyes afresh to these familiar stories, and that you would help us to live our lives in light of that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I wonder, have you ever lost anything? I guess all of us have lost something at some time or other. I wonder, what did you lose? Maybe it was your keys, a piece of jewellery, your passport, or an important piece of paper. The other week, I lost something that was very important to me, and it would have caused a problem to me and to others if I couldn't have found it. What do you do when you lose something? Well, what I did was I searched all the places I could think of, thought very hard when I'd last seen it, I retraced my steps and searched again and again. And how does it make you feel when you lose something? Well, I was distracted and couldn't settle to do other things. I was a bit sad and a bit anxious, to be truthful. And did you manage to find what you had lost? Or was it still out there waiting to be found? I actually found my missing item the following day after I researched one of the places I'd previously looked. I'd hidden it between some other things before we went on holiday, and i had hidden it so well that I couldn't remember or find where I had hidden it. And how did you feel when you found your lost item? Happy? Relieved? Joyful? Ready to tell others? No longer distracted and can get on and enjoy other things? Our reading from Luke chapter 15 tells us that two stories that Jesus told, the parables of the lost sheep and of the lost coin. Jesus loved telling parables, which were stories with another meaning. The message version of the Bible tells us that the religious leaders of the day were not at all pleased that Jesus chose to spend his time with a lot of men and women of questionable reputation who hung around him, listening intently. So Jesus told these stories. You can imagine that the men in the crowd might associate more closely with the parable of the lost sheep, whilst the women in the crowd might have associated themselves with the parable of the lost coin. But what can we learn from these stories today? Well, the first thing is that we are all, I repeat, we are all valuable and special to God. The first story is about a man who had a hundred sheep and told us what he would do if he lost one of them. Well, the answer is simple. You leave the 99 somewhere safe and go in search of the lost one until you found it. You wouldn't leave it lost, surely, and concentrate on looking after the remaining 99. The second story is about a woman who had 10 silver coins 
and she lost one and again tells us what she would do if she lost it as each silver coin would be worth about a day's wages it was worth looking for and not just forgetting about in both stories we read that the man or the woman what they were prepared to do and what it takes until they found what was lost the lost sheep and the lost coin were both valuable and special to the shepherd and to the woman and were very much worth looking for neither of them gave up and they kept searching until they found that which was lost it's just the same when we lose something isn't it that is valuable and important to us we keep on searching until we find it the message that Jesus was wanting to get across is I think that he loves everyone and that they are all special to him and that's the same whether you are in the 99 who are already following Jesus or the one who is lost and doesn't yet know that Jesus loves them or his or who is ignoring the fact that Jesus loves them and remember a silver coin is worth the same amount whether it's lost or whether it's found the second thing we can learn from these stories is that the fact that in life we do get lost that may be deliberately or it may be inadvertently now I wonder have you ever got lost what did it feel like did you feel scared lonely afraid maybe you were slow to realize and admit that you were lost in the first story there was one sheep that got separated from the flock and got lost we aren't told whether the sheep left the flock deliberately because it wanted adventure and to get away from the rest of the sheep or whether it happened inadvertently because it was too busy eating grass to notice that the rest of the flock had moved on and when it tried to find them went off in the wrong direction now there are times in our lives and now maybe one of them when you have got a bit lost in this way I don't mean getting lost in a strange city or a strange country but lost in our lives we don't know where we're going there's no purpose again sometimes that's because of the choices that we make in life such as who we make friends with what we choose to do and say or maybe just because we've taken our eye off the ball and done our own thing or maybe we've never known any different Jesus is telling us in this story that he is always looking out for all of those who, who are lost to, to bring them home for those who've never heard about Jesus for those who have chosen to live a life without Jesus for those who have known Jesus but have wandered away the amazing thing is that God loves us all so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for our sins on the cross for our wrongdoing so that we can be forgiven and then we can come home to know God as our Heavenly Father where are you in your relationship with God today are you far away and totally lost have you drifted away are you looking for Jesus or are you deliberately avoiding Jesus or maybe you just can't see Jesus whatever reason God doesn't give up on us and he's always looking for us however lost we are and wherever we may be but sometimes we must want to be found and the third thing that we can learn from this story is that God loves to welcome us back and to have a party I wonder who loves a party we have all sorts of things to celebrate and we, we love a party now in both these stories there were times of great celebration when the lost sheep and the lost coin were found when found both the shepherd and the woman both called their friends and their neighbors together and said rejoice with me I have found my lost sheep rejoice with me I have found my lost coin maybe you do the same when you find your keys that elusive piece of jewelry your passport the important piece of paper 
or whatever. Maybe we don't hold a party when we find something that's lost, but we may, may well rejoice. We may whisper a thank you to God. We may tell our families and our friends. Jesus is telling us that rejoicing over finding the lost sheep or the lost coin is like the rejoicing there is in heaven over one sinner who repents, who turns to Jesus. Imagine a party in heaven every time that someone comes to know Jesus. Doesn't that sound a great place to be? Now sin and repenting may be seen as rather heavy churchy words and things we'd rather not talk about. But in essence sin is not living as God would want us to. And repenting is saying sorry, turning around and asking God to help us live as he wants us to. So if you're feeling lost today for whatever reason, and maybe that is you today, then talk to God and ask him to help you. Say sorry for the wrong things in your life and ask him to help you live your life according to his ways. You will then be truly found and there will be celebrations in heaven. God loves a party. I wonder, who are you most like in that story, in those stories? Are you like the lost sheep or the lost coin? You're lost. Maybe Jesus hasn't yet found you or you've wandered off. Remember the good news of Jesus, that you are valuable to him, that he loves you, that he is looking for you and wants to bring you home. Are you ready to be found today? Or are you like the 99 unlost sheep, the ones who are still there in the pasture, nibbling away at the grass? We are just as precious to Jesus and parties have already been held in heaven on our behalf when Jesus first found us. And we are reminded don't go wandering and get lost again. Or maybe you are a bit like the shepherd or the woman because Jesus calls us to be his people here on earth. Jesus calls us to be those who tell others about him today, to be more like Jesus, to welcome those who are lost, to tell others about Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you look for us when we're lost. Thank you that you have found us. And we thank you that there are celebrations in heaven even today as people come to know Jesus. And Lord, we pray for those who are lost today. And we pray, Lord, that they would be found by you and that you would bring them home and that there would be rejoicing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless.